Okay, we're on. So, yeah, we're on. We're on. It's Wednesday night. We're playing Dungeons and Dragons. Last Wednesday yeah. night, we were also playing Dungeons and Dragons. What happened then? In the fucking wizard, this time for real. We're doing it. Okay. Oh, <laughs> we, the wizard. Yeah. Yeah. Let's just we, go. Um... Let's just go to the wizard right now. <laughs> we very slowly attained a sandwich <laughs> and tried to go down an alleyway. We had the meeting to... with <laughs> the Vexia. Yeah. Vexia? Uh -huh. Is that the clan name? Yeah. Yeah. Um, uh, as far as you know. Zazen met with them. Um, had a very um, coded chat um, about Baker. Uh, was it Baker? I don't know. Showing up at the Atlas basically for a meeting one on one. Um, you all spent basically the entire session trying to make a replica of the book that we stole. Mm -hmm. um, so we returned to Muir after the meeting with um, Schwarmer. Mm -hmm. um, and then we got distracted by something. What was the first distraction? There was like a, a chain of five distractions. I was in um, the north place doing shit up there. Mm -hmm. We were doing wizard stuff. Doing wizard wizard stuff trying oh. to figure out where those people were and then decide that you guys need to help. So yeah. you need to go and do that wizard now. We need to go and do the wizard now. Yeah, go oh. and do her. I'm not the right <laughs> 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 That wizard needs doing right now. <laughs> At least we're kind of on task. Yeah. Get to it. <laughs> uh, we scried the scried on the wizard. Got mm. a, got an idea of where she was. She was in a mm -hmm. sort of library in a raised um uh, raised part of a building overlooking a church um so we managed to use that information to find out where she was uh snuck into that library um have gotten past a sort of well we and we just gotten past a hidden door yes um, and we're on our way up onto her level to find out what's happened yes so uh to remind me who's in the, who's in the library let me get my my uh, notepad here. Mm. Um, everyone apart from Lena and Mira, I'm pretty sure. Everyone apart from Lena and Mira. Okie dokie. Mm -hmm. This is... What section is this? 152. 152. I believe Harafin was outside mm. as a bird. Uh, oh, is that right? Yeah, that seems reasonable. Um... Sure. Okay. So, um, that is on the other side of the world. You guys are in a broom closet with stairs leading up. Mirror is copying the um, the book. So let me get my tunage here. Uh, uh, sure. So you guys are in a broom closet or what appeared outwardly to be a broom closet, and you snuck your way in, and you can see there's a stairway leading up. Um, and at the top of the staircase, you can see a door. What is your plan? Door. Kill the wizard. Kill the wizard. Kill the wizard. <laughs> sure. Okay. Maybe second in line, Jake. Okay, so Naren's leading. Mm -hmm. I'll be behind Rurek. Naren, Rurek, Zorgar, and then Zarzan at the back. Is that right? Pulling up the rear. Hey, that when we establish order. <laughs> okay. Leave Rex invisible as well. Mm -hmm. Rex invisible. Yes. Thank and you. I keep bumping into him. Trying to be yeah. subtle uh, about this for once. Spinning my little gear. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, sure. Um, yeah. So you guys climb up the stairs and you come to this uh, fairly standard-looking doorway. There's a door handle on your side that you can see. Does the door handle look spooky? Looks like a regular door handle. Gonna gently touch the door handle. That's yeah, made of metal. Yeah. Like brass. Gonna slowly turn the door handle. Yeah, it, it makes a click. Gonna open the door slowly and as quietly as I can. Sure. Uh, okay, give us a stealth check. 
It's Naren or all of us? Uh, just just Naren right now. Ooh, sharp fun. Eighteen on ten. Okay. I don't know if it wasn't. Uh, mm -hmm. let me get my notes here. So, um, yeah, Naren twists the door, and it's just a nice door. It's very well, you know, clearly very well oiled because it makes almost zero sound as he eases it open. Um, but what does make a sound is a a voice that says. Your intrusion has been detected, Naren Mark X. Leave now or you'll be removed with force. This floor is restricted. <laughs> oh. um, and you can see on the other side of the door uh, is, you assume, like a corridor, except it's full of like this white mist that you can't really see through. Who am I speaking to? Oh. Uh, it's unclear. I'm asking. I'm asking into the darkness. Oh, uh, there's no response. Or the corridor. Does it remind me at all of the people that stopped us when we were trying to enter the spire? Uh, no, they they sounded all. They were very. It is very much a dragonborn voice. It sounds like a fairly elderly dragonborn. Oh, oh okay. But also, sort of sounds like a Scott Rylan answer. I uh, just got to close the door again. <laughs> yeah, the door. this train is for. Yeah, uh, and then, do I know Rurax behind me? Uh. Presumably, I, I assume you can kind of just kind of feel the heat of Rurek or just kind of the ambient Rurekness of it. Also, whenever Rurek's behind me, I always get sexually assaulted, so I probably know he's there. Uh, <laughs> yeah. I'm just gonna step to the side and push Rurek forward to the door and get behind him. You know, it's just gonna do the same shit to me. Uh, I'm curious. Well, you open the door. That defeats the point. I'll open the door. That also defeats the point. Ruhek, open the door. <laughs> Reach up. Grab the handle, Jake. Mm -hmm. Your little turn. Is the door handle above your head? <laughs> yes. Yes, it is. Your intrusion has been detected, Ruhek Donforge. Leave now or you will be removed with force. This is your second and final warning. This floor is restricted. <laughs> Wait, did they say do? second warning? Yeah. Second and final. Ah, oh, shit. We have shared warnings. Damn it. Yeah. So, um, you wanna, wanna bust on through? Alright, um, here's the plan. I'll kick in the door, we all mm -hmm. scream kill the wizard and we charge down the hallway. Why don't you kick the door open? <laughs> I'm going to like, I'm gonna use some wind and try and burst these windows open and get this, get this misty shit out of here. And then is we that, can go. Is that windows? Yeah. Uh, you, um, can, you can only see mist. But, Jay, I saw from the outside there's windows, Jake. Oh right? yeah, you know you know that there are, are windows. You just don't know where the windows are. Yeah. Okay. Uh, you you um, don't have line of sight on any windows. Okay. Uh, we can't see them. Nope. Nah, like Naren, mist. Naren, you you bust through. I'll be right behind you, and then I'm gonna kind of, I'm gonna use a, a air cannon, left okay. or right, and oh, try. Oh, you gotta fire bust. me down the hallway. Uh, can we do that? That wasn't intent, but we can try it. <laughs> <Sure>. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Right, go kick in the door. Um, okay, go immediately for a charge. <laughs> sure, I mean, I mean, the door's open, so you you, can, you kick Checking it open. Um, yeah, it doesn't come off the hinges, um, but it, it just kind of like kicks and like, you know, sort of bounces off the the hinge, kind of like extends and then bounces back a wee bit, um, and you can just see this opaque wall of mist in front of you. Charge. Sure. Uh, you're charging straight ahead? Yep. Okay, you run into a wall. <laughs> <laughs> Jake, can I cast oh. Gust of Wind? Sure. Wait, 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 wait. Can I could cast Freedom of Movement on it. Can we go through walls then? <laughs> I think that just gets me out of, like, cuffs and stuff. Yeah. It doesn't turn can him into Casper, mate. <laughs> <laughs> how, try. how far did I get before I hit this wall? Uh, you ran for, like, I don't know, four or five seconds? Like, you got a good charge yeah. off, and then you're like... Now in a full sprint, four or five seconds, that's a decent bit of corridor. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um... When you ran into the wall, what did it feel like? What kind of wall was it? Stone? <laughs> how how much of a wall do you feel when you run at it full speed? <laughs> I feel like you'd know if it was stone. Oh, like... Um, also, presumably, uh, none of the rest of you can now see where Naren is. Um, oh. I'm, I'm using the, the gust of wind, Jake. Sure. Uh, it doesn't seem to affect the mist. Ah, crap. Magic mist. Oh, that's 
bad. Okay, well that's a that's a third level spell slot gone. All no, right. second level, second level. This way, I'm calling out to them. Now you uh, have rope, right? Yes. Throw it here. I can just walk back and give you the rope. <laughs> okay, well, give us the rope then. <laughs> Gonna walk back and uh, I assume you want us to all be tied together. Yeah. Okay. Can you roll a D100 now? If you're walking back. If you get imprisoned in another dimension, I swear to you, the missed dimension. No, God. Oh, is that good or is that bad? <laughs> is it good it's or is bad. it bad? <laughs> when Jake smiles, it's never good. Sure, okay. So, Naren, you start backing up. Um, do, you, do you announce to everyone else that you're backing up? Yeah. Sure. So you start backing up. Um, around about 45 seconds later, you guys realize that Naren hasn't arrived yet. Um, Naren, you coming? Nothing. He's not, he's, he's not coming back. Uh, well, this has been fun. <laughs> Zorgar... Zarzan, do either of you have rope? I think I have rope. I you don't have... got a lot. Most of the packs have it, don't they? If they yeah, I'm pretty pack sure. Or whatever. Okay. I've got 50 feet of hemp and rope. Oh, nice. Yeah. Zarzan, can you just just <laughs> give us all the ropes and we'll tie each other um, by the waist? Sure. Okay. Okay. Um... Uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna use my sanding stone to call yeah. Lida. Hello. Hi. Uh -huh. We're in, we're in a wizard's library. Uh -huh. um, it, there's mist. Uh -huh. Naren walked into it, and now he's gone. Okay. Is Naren getting this yeah. phone call? So how, how was the mist triggered? Was it just what? there? You walked into it, or like? He he you? sprinted into it, uh -huh. and. Disappeared. Uh, I tried to use wind to disperse it, and it didn't work. Is there any, give me all the details, please, of like how the mist appeared. Oh, we, we opened the door, the and the mist was there. We like it was already uh -huh. there when we entered Did this door. Did anything else happen? There was a yeah. Oh, the sounds like a ward. You should probably dispel that. Dispel the ward. Okay. Um, Jake, can I look around the door for a ward? Uh, I mean, sure, give us a perception check. It's not yeah. something that you can usually right. see, it's usually just something that you dispel, kind of. Okay. I, I, I did the kind of the same thing on the, um, whatchamacallit. Can you, can you dispel so, it, I, I, I don't know. It might be pretty high level, though, since it's just, like, restricted access place. Did I, uh, hear this call? Uh, if it's, is it on the group sending? Aha! Aha! Yeah, it is. Uh, then, then yeah, it would have come through for now. Alright. Uh, so yeah, with a 19 rack, you, you, you look very intently around you, you realize you can't see any obvious source to the, like, there's no, mm. like, big, like, W anywhere. Okay. Well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and try, uh, a third level to spell magic. Uh, um, sure. So uh, I can, can choose one, ma a magical effect within range, so I'm gonna guess mm -hmm. it's the fog. Okay. Um... um uh, for each spell of fourth level or higher on the target, make an ability check using your spell casting ability. The DC equals ten plus the spell's level on a successful check. The spell ends. Okay. Can you make an ability check using your spell casting ability, please? Um, and a, so if I just hit wisdom ability check, okay, and then normal. Oh no way! Seven. No. No. That's not doing Obviously, it. But... Can I do it again, Jake? Uh, sure, yeah. Yeah. Your person um, spell slots. Uh, so that was sorry. That was one. I'll do that there, and I'll do it again. Okay, and then I'm gonna roll that ability check. Much better. Okay. Sure. Twenty-one. Uh, yeah. So this fog, uh, wreck. Kind of. Uh, does it? Does, do you have a specific thing in mind when you're at cast spell magic of like how it looks? Um. I think, Rex kind of drawn shapes and the crackles of lightning are kind of staying sure. 
as the as he draws those shapes, uh, and some sort of like Altian text. Sure, I think. Uh, so Rex starts tracing lightning symbols, uh, and then as he completes the uh, the the writing, the sigil, uh, there is this burst of air uh, that washes through the mist and dissipates it. Um, and you guys can see um, there's like a corridor. Your, your like corridor goes straight ahead, and then there's like a T intersection, uh, and you can't see Naren. Uh, and Naren, you can see the mist suddenly dissipate, but you don't know. You don't recognize where you are. Um, Could you paint me a word image? You are currently at like a crossroads, like a like a, a four way intersection. Um, and there are you know like the walls are lined with books and things. You can kind of there's kind of like a like onto your right there's a sort of a an open vestibule area where you can see down into like the library below. Um, and you can see um, at the far, kind of just like off to like kind of northeast of where you are, uh, is a door uh, out of which has come uh, a concerned looking wizardly gentleman um, who is striding with some amount of purpose towards you. Hello? Just who exactly do you think you are? Are you the one who was talking to me or? Do you not know who I am? Uh, you don't recognize the, the voice doesn't match. He's like, okay. "What do you mean? Don't, don't pull the do you know who I am card? <laughs> Get out of my, this! Is a restricted floor." I, I'm sorry. I'll, I'll leave immediately. Which way is the way out? Uh, he kind of crosses over to you, uh, and he looks like he's going to like try and take your arm and lead you. Um, he's got a cane with him. He's a somewhat frail old man. Um, right. This way, you ruffian. <laughs> um, and he starts leading you, uh, like down and to the left. Um, what are the others doing after the mist dissipates? Um, walking down the hallway. Just walking down. Mm -hmm. uh, See if we can find Mary. Sure. Uh, no, he went straight. Sure. So you. Yeah, you can go straight ahead, and then there's like a left or a right. Mm -hmm. um, um, we go left I, first, and then we can't find the back. Sure. Can, can I mark on the wall an arrow of the direction we're going? Uh, sure, yeah. You'll have to take a wee bit of time to do that. Where are you going to mark it in? Um, just, I mean, if I can use the, maybe like the bottle of fill near, maybe. Uh -huh. like the, just carve the, it into the, a bookcase. The sharp end. Yeah. Sure. Oh, is, is there like stone that I can do in? Um, there's probably a patch of stone. Yeah, there's like a weak gap between two bookcases. Okay, I'll uh, I'll do it into there. Um, um, sure. Can you guys all give me perception checks as well? Uh, yeah. One second. I'll uh, thank you, Lida. The dispelling the ward worked. Yeah. Yeah. No one just walked into it, did they? Oh, Naren sprinted into it. <laughs> Oh, yeah, sounds about right. Maybe yeah, call me again gonna next time if you find Jump in on this call midway oh. and be like, full speed. <laughs> <laughs> I'm fine, by the way. <laughs> Where are you, Naren? Uh, I don't know. An old man's got me by the arm, restricted floor or something. Uh, I think I'm still in the building. All right. Take care of yourself for now. Um, Ryak is thoroughly distracted, Jake. Sure. So yeah, so Rurag's got a one, this was six total, and Zorgar's got a set. So yeah, so Zorgar and Rurag, you start heading down to the left. Zarzan, you can totally hear uh, an old man berating someone coming from the right. He's in the right. What? 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 That way. Oh, that way! I just spent right. like a minute carving this. Okay, fine, let's go. That's going to be confusing. It's going to be a double-ended arrow. Double ended arrows, then it's nothing. <laughs> <laughs> then, it, then, it, then, it, then it is nothing. It's like you can go either way. What do you mean you can go either way? <laughs> what is it doing? Just the direction, you know, we went that way and we went that way. I suppose. Okay. Um, right, well, let's go Let's go see Naren then. Sure. Uh, so you guys head to the right? Yeah. Sure. Yeah, so you start heading down to the right. Um, 
and the corridor kind of like takes a, a turn and then you come around the turn and you see just ahead of you uh, a sort of a kind of a frail looking elderly blue dragonborn uh, who has is reached up he's gotten iron by like the so you guys are disguised right now is that right yeah. are you guys wearing your armor underneath the disguises Mm-hmm. I would yep. assume so, yeah. Yeah. Wreck is going invisible. Mir, how many charges of this do I have? Well, you're fine. Just just go for it. I've you I've used, used the three or four. Two. Yeah. I think it's three. Sure. So far. Okay, so you, you come around the corridor, um, and you see uh, like this is, you, you kind of walk in in the middle of this happening, but Naren, as you're being led down, uh, he kind of adjusts his grip on you and reaches up, and he kind of you feel, like he's like feeling around, and then he like like he's like he kind of looks at you, and then go uh, bat his hand away and be like, Dad, "Stop touching me, I'll follow." <laughs> he uh, casts uh, dispel magic on your disguise, or he's going to attempt to. Uh, there's nothing I can do about that, is there? Uh, not really. I, it might not work, though. You, you were pointing your finger. If I slap his finger away, is that a physical way of... Um... To... <laughs> uh, it doesn't have to touch... He doesn't have to touch you um, to do it, so, like, it'll work either way. Um, I'll... I mean... But you, you can slap his thing away, and it'll give him disadvantage on doing the thing, but he definitely yes. looks like he's already detected. Like, you know, like, oh, if you, if you, like, you know, kind of as, as you know, physically sort of assault him that may escalate the situation somewhat. So it's kinda it's kinda which brand of escalation you want here. <laughs> sure, I'll just let that happen, I guess. Sure. Uh okay, so what level is Seeming? Uh Seeming is fifth level. Okay, so he's a fifteen. Okay, so he attempts to. You see his finger flash, uh, and then he says, "What manner of illusion magics is this?" And that is the point where um, Zorgar, Zarzan, and Rurak round the corner, um, and you see him? this uh, kind of like in the direction him? you are walking, Naren. But he's you've kind of both sort of like he's sort of stopped and pivoted 180 degrees to face you, if oh. that makes sense. Sure. Um, so what do you guys do? Um, what's your job here? <laughs> My job is none of your business. Who are, who are you really? What does this go... I tried to dispel magic again. I am it. Um... Jay, can I un untie myself and walk up behind him? Sure, yeah. Um, can I? Is that unnoticed? Uh, he seems quite involved. He, he seems quite focused on Marinus' disguise right now. You guys think I can knock him out? He's <laughs> an old man. <laughs> I think you can. Aaron could have clocked him in the side of the head at the beginning of this encounter. <laughs> Well, he's just gonna raise an alarm when he finds out who you are. Uh, mm. No one have... has to sleep spell on them, do they? Zorgar, do you have any spells that are helpful for this kind of situation? Knocking out old men. Really. Uh, I could, I could compel him into a duel. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's so like funny. a, like a, like a hand, 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 hand jewel, like a no magic, just, just, uh, um, just brawn. I, I don't think the elderly specify... man who works in a library is going to agree to the. But he can compel him. He can compel. He doesn't. Him hasn't had to, to agree. Duel. He's compelled. It's a spell. It makes him. This just seems like extra steps to knocking him out. Can't yeah. be. <laughs> oh, oh wait! Uh, I could, I could uh, do command, like a cast command on him. Okay. Um, hold on. Well, this is happening. I'm just gonna be trying to camp 
trying to calm him down and be like, would you stop trying can... to do that? What's your name, son? I do whatever I want, like, so I can be like, just stay where you are, and he won't move. For, for how long, okay. though? I don't know how long it says. Uh, Jake, I'd like to prepare um, an action. Sure. What is your action and what is your trigger? I'm going to attempt to knock him out if um, Naren. Uh, fucks if this. If this if it, Naren fucks this. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> if this goes south, I'm going to attempt to knock him out. Sure. Uh, my name oh, is Yepok. Okay. Or at least that's the name I'm currently using. Stop! I'm gonna once again just be like, stop doing that. Listen, I'm, I'm just I here to use... speak to someone. Who, who are you here to speak with? It, it doesn't matter. I, I assure you, young man, it does. Uh, what's your name? That is not important. Stop changing the subject. Who are you here to? What is your purpose here? I told you, I'm here to speak with someone. Who? That's not important. I'm asking, so it is important. Tell me your name. <laughs> Stop awesome trying to do up. that. <laughs> this I'm wasting the spell slots. Oh mm -hmm. fuck. Okay. Uh, he like he like stares at you, and then he clicks his fingers, and your uh, your disguise disappears. And he like like he sort of Donk. he's blue, but he kind of goes white. Um, Donk right in the back. Are of you head. knocking him? Yeah. Uh, all right, give us an attack roll. Big you could have done that before. He dispelled the disguise. Uh, <laughs> I was trying to talk him down. Apparently not. Uh, Jake, is there any like advantages to this since I'm hidden? Uh, yeah, you it? can have advantage. He's okay. an old man. He's, He's on an arm. Old man. Um, <laughs> Probably just a librarian. <laughs> yeah. Right, sorry, so I'm, I'm not too... F oh, dang it. Uh, how do I make an attack? Well, um, ju just roll a d20 to begin with. Because that will tell okay, us most of what we need to know. Alright, cool. I'm gonna, I'll roll my two d20s. I got a 16 and a 9, so 16. I'll take that one if that's alright. Sure. Uh, it came up on my screen as a 5 and a 4. Yeah, 16 was what? Jake's. Wait, hang on. Did I roll 2d20? No, yeah, sorry. I um, I read it wrong. I did roll a 5 and a 4. That sucks. Okay, mm -hmm. so 5 plus your strength plus your proficiency bonus. What's that? Um. Okay, so my proficiency bonus is... Okay, well, my, my strength is plus 3. Okay. So and eight. what's proficiency, proficiency bonus at this level? It's plus 5. 13. Three. 13 probably just hits this guy, yeah. Um, okay. I'll, uh, I'll, I'm Just... gonna go ahead and make it also like a, a bit electric-y. Alright, yeah. I can, yeah. You tried uh... to murder this old man. <laughs> I'm trying sure. to knock him out. Really? So roll for uh, damage. Non-lethal non non damage, Jake. Yeah, okay, so, so roll your damage. And then... Oh. Okay. For, for, this, for this specific scenario, we'll roll a d100 and kind of modify it by the, the amount of damage and see if he gets knocked out. Sure. So is this a, sorry, this is a, it's a D8 for just the hammer, isn't it? Yeah, and then however much extra damage on top. I think it's a, it's a plus two hammer. Yep. So, there's that. Um, and then let me find my feature. Is it Wrath of the Storm? No. Um, is it Stormsmith? No. No. Sorry, I'm... Just navigating my things here. Uh... This is gonna go down on your end of your review, mate. I know, I know. Ah, oh, for fuck's sake. Is it Divine Strike? Aha! Yes. Once on each of your turns, when you hit a creature with a attack, weapon attack, you can cause that attack to deal 1d8 extra thunder damage when you reach level 14. It's 2d8. So, 2d8. Sure. So. Six plus two from being the plus two hammer, uh -huh. plus three from my strength. Is that right? Yep. And then plus eleven. So. So that's. Eleven plus eleven is twenty-two. Twenty-two. Mhm. Mm okay. And then, what did you say? Like a D one hundred. Yeah. Let's see. 
Twenty seven. Yeah, I think you can pretty knock him out with that with that. Um you just Rack just fucking twaps him. Uh there's a a static y crunch uh, and he just goes and kills over. Um All right. he lands with a sort of snapping sound. Oh Poor old can, I, can I stabilize him? Yeah, he's not he's not bleeding out. You just you think he's like landed on an arm in a way that like he's broken his wrist or something. Oh yeah. Oh. Oh god. <laughs> um, did we Our pass bastard. when he was leading me away? Did we pass like a closet or something? I can stuff him in. <laughs> uh, give us a perception check. I stuffed this old man in a closet. <laughs> Listen, I can't leave him like this now. Then... <laughs> oh god. Fourteen. 14. Yeah. Um, you haven't didn't see a closet, but you did see a fairly large trunk. I don't think. <laughs> oh. Did the trunk have a lock? <laughs> oh. uh, it was it was shut, but you didn't see a lock on it. Okay. Yeah, I'll go back and stuff them in the trunk. Okay. So you go and open the trunk and you see the trunk's full of books. I create piles of books next to the trunk. Yeah? You're just going to take all the decant all the books out? Yeah. Put them in the trunk? Yeah. Put them onto the shelves. Put the... Yes. Put the books on top of the trunk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Homebrew locking scenario. <laughs> sure. Like, there's quite a lot of books. Like it might take like like five five maybe ten minutes to to. Oh. Can, okay. I, can I have someone help me? Yeah, and try and yeah. cut down the time. Jake, can I leave? Can I use a t the thinnest book to make an air slither for him? Yeah. Uh -huh, yeah. So that. Yep. Yeah, okay. Um, and, and I'll also help load the books on. Sure. Okay. Yeah. I'm breathe through the lock. Oh, yeah. Um, probably have to move pretty fast now. Who knows how long he's got to be knocked out for. Um, sure, so can you guys give us a... I guess a strength check? Or a dex check, if you're trying to be particularly dexterous about how you're stacking these books? I'll do a strength check. I'm going to make piles. I'll do strength, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm going strength. Sure. Yes. Okay. Why can I? I can't see anyone else's rolls except for mine or yours, Jake. Uh, that's rude. Oh. Yeah, is it? Is it only happened today? No, I noticed it last week too, but I didn't mm. really. Uh, I'll write it down. Uh, so yeah, so the fighter, the cleric, and the paladin of justice. Uh, take all the books out of this trunk and stuff this unconscious old man in it. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, and then, For the great ignorance. Yeah. Uh, and then you are otherwise uh, currently un, un, you know, undetected. Um, right. Although, you know, the old man was some, had some amount of wizarding, and obviously there was that thing that went off, so, you know, you probably have at the back of your mind that there's, like, a chance you may have been, you know, discovered. Let's just uh, speed this along then. Uh, yep. How do we find the wizard? <laughs> um, I don't suppose. Man. Um, did the floor I was teleported to look like uh, the correct height to be looking down on the church? What? Is there any windows? Uh, is there any windows? Uh, yeah, there's probably a window, yeah. And. When looking out the window, can we tell where the church is in relation? Like, can we figure out what side of the building we're on? Uh, yeah, you're on the... By your reckoning, you're on the east side of the building, and she was on the north side of the building. Okay, well then, we know which direction north sure. is, so... Yeah. Do uh, also, go... does it seem like we're the right floor? Um, give us... Uh, that That probably requires a perception check. It's mainly Rurak, because Rurak is the one who scried. Sure, I'll give that perception check. Um, Alright, you, you scried, you can have advantage. Oh, cool, thank you. Uh, it's a 13 total? Sure. Eight. Um, you're pretty, it's difficult to tell because it's a different window. You're pretty sure you're maybe, like, you might be on the same floor, you might be one floor under, you're not entirely sure. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, I'll, I'll nar maybe Naren. It's hard to say. Sorry. Okay. Let's just go to the north-facing wall of this floor, then. Yeah. Um, 
Uh, you yeah. you take the lead, Naren. I'm gonna be invisible and have the cuffs ready. Uh, yeah. Okay. okay. Um. Yeah, gonna charge. Uh, not trying to be stealthy, but trying not to be like loud as fuck. Charge down the corridors. Sure. Uh. Okay. Um. So how are you guys proceeding? Are you going in like, are you going in a horizontal line, in a kind of straight on line, uh, in a What's cube? Do you want to go like the cube, guys? Yeah. That's a cube. Yeah. Cube feels like the most structurally sound. Mm-hmm. Triangles are the most structurally sound. That wasn't an option. Hexagons are pretty good too. We don't have enough to do hexagon. No, we don't. We have too many to do triangular. Get up on in the middle. Get up on the middle. Let's go in a triangle <laughs> formation. <laughs> yeah, we're right here at the front. Okay. Um, sure, okay. Uh, sure, so you guys proceed. You're just heading in the direction you think is the wizard's office. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, whoever is leading, can you give us a survival check? Apparently, I'm leading. Oh, damn it, I'm proficient in this shit, too. One mind. of you is also a ranger. That also, oh, yeah. That. Damn it. Well, this was not well thought out. <laughs> well, I mean. <laughs> Fuck it, kill the wizard. Fuck. No <laughs> time for regrets Wait. here, people. 21, 21. 21. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, yeah, you guys all skeet around the, um, are, are you, it, it, what, are you, like, so you're proceeding with a certain amount of haste? Yeah. Are you doing anything else? And Are you proceeding in any other particular manner? Kill the wizard. It's a bit of a power walk. Bit of a power walk? Sure. Yeah. Uh, I like okay. the jog. Uh, can everyone give me a wisdom saving throw? Oh, yes. Yes, I can do that. Wisdom. Saving throw. Ugh, it's a 14. Ooh. Why am I rolling so bad? See, with 18. The indomitable, do I get to know whether I passed or failed before we roll it? Uh, I have no idea. What does the feature say? Uh, is it indomitable? It will be in here, won't it? Uh... Indomitable, there it is. You can re-roll a saving throw that you fail. You must use um, the new roll. I can tell you, you do not make that saving throw right now. Okay. You can use this plus two times per long rest. I'm assuming not on the same save though, right? Uh, yeah, it says you must use the new roll, so it doesn't count. Ah, yeah. fuck. <laughs> okay. Lucky? Goodbye. <laughs> uh... If it says you must use this, the same yeah, ro okay. the new roll, then I think you yeah, you could have done lucky beforehand and then used indomitable, I guess. Fuck. Uh, remember that chain. Oh, okay. <laughs> so, uh, Azarzan, what did you get? Uh, well, I rolled and then the dice didn't. It just oh. like none of none of those rolls popped up on the right for me that anyone did. Is That's that weird. Normal? See, that's what keeps happening to me, too. Some of the rolls won't show up, but I see Rurex roll there. I don't see Zorgas yeah. or Zarsons there. Uh, can you guys double check yeah. underneath the, like, just above the chat box, it says public roll public and not roll. like. Yeah. Yes. Yep. Yeah. Okay, that's weird. Mm -hmm. um, Alright, well, can you roll that? No, it was a four. It was a four. Four anything. Okay. Um, I don't know what gets added. I mean, so unless you have a plus 13, um, which I'm going to assume you probably don't, um, then the only person that saves is Zorgalar. Uh, so, uh, Zorgar, you watch as you all, you all proceed with a certain amount of power walking pace around the corridor, uh, and then there is a kind of a bright light, and then Naren, Rurek, and Zarzan all kind of <sighs> collapse uh, and then begin to snore loudly. 
Question about spells. Yeah. If someone casts a spell on them, can I override that spell by casting another spell on them? Uh, this sounds like you have a plan. What is your plan? Uh, I'm not entirely sure. Try and... You gotta try and command us to wake up. I was gonna try and use compulsion mm -hmm. to make him wake up. Maybe uh, command the rock what, what does compulsion do? Here. Wake up. She tried just yelling at us <laughs> or kicking us. Grab a brush and put on a little makeup. <laughs> <laughs> Table! Do you want it? Um, well, compulsion just makes someone like, like they have to move. So it may not wake them up. Okay, moving. Um, I mean, if you, if, I mean you, can, you, you can try if you want. Command might be better. Okay, I'm going to try and use command. Mm -hmm. To command um, Naren to wake up. Sure. What, what's command? You speak a one-word command to a creature you can see within range. The target must succeed on a wisdom saving throw or follow the command on its next turn. I can't succeed. Not very wise when I'm asleep. You can't roll? Uh, you can still roll. You automatically fail strength and deck saves, but nothing about... Um... Can I choose to fail? Uh, I, 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 I suppose so. Because don't I want to be under your command? Isn't that the whole point? You want to succeed, and then you can wake up. It says the target must succeed on a wisdom saving throw. Or follow the command. Okay, so yeah, yeah, you're right. yeah I want to fail right. so I can be commanded. I mean, if I can choose to fail, I'll fail. If I have to roll, I'll roll. Incapacitated. I mean, there's the saving throw in case I do need to use your fuck. I hope I can pay off. <laughs> <laughs> Why'd I roll well on that one and not the one that <laughs> sent me to sleep? <laughs> um. So, so ordinarily, I would have said that you can choose to fail, but I'm you're not aware of the spell being cast. I'm too wise in my sleep. <laughs> yeah. Fuck. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, so Zorgar, you 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 you're like you, you intone with a sort of a you know a, an angelic voice. You you command your brother to wake up, and he continues snoring. <laughs> wake, rise. <laughs> Nard, wake the fuck up, Nard! Come on, damn it! Um, if that didn't work, um, you give us a perception check, Zorgar. This is when I'm going to end up falling asleep as well. Okay. There's Sorry, two. continue. Uh, oh. I'm just gonna... <laughs> God, fuck's sake. I know what's going to happen, but I'm going to go over and uh, try and kick Naren awake. Uh, sure. Um... Do I have to make a st strength throw? <laughs> uh... <laughs> try and do damage. <laughs> what, 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 how much damage do you do as an unarmed attack? I don't know. Uh, what, what's your what strength? My strength is 20. Uh, okay. Uh, so, Naren, you can take 5 damage and you wake up. Oh, you get a, yeah. a, a swift kick in the kidneys. Uh, <laughs> oh, why do I go for the kidneys? Fuck it out. Son of a bitch. <laughs> God damn. Brutal. Um, yeah, you were having a. You, you, yeah, you awaken from a, a, a bizarre dream uh, where, you know, you were in, like. Uh, you were in like a restaurant, and <laughs> there was some concern about like whether or not you were really, uh, you know, a dragonborn, really who you say you were. And then, 
Or like, I, it could a could a dragonborn do this, and then you got kicked. I don't know. <laughs> Uh, do I see the others sleeping when I wake up? Uh, you can. You maybe don't initially see them, but you can definitely hear Rurak snoring. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Lazy bastard yeah, actually, sleeping on the job. Feel, you can feel Rurak snoring. <laughs> well, Vibrations for the floorboards. What am I doing it's on the floor? Basic. Zorgo, why do I feel hurt? <laughs> oh, man. Okay, um... Yeah, I guess now has got to be like, what the hell, Rurek and Zazen, and slap Rurek in the face for being asleep on the job. <laughs> sure. No! Wake the oh. fuck up! What's your strength modifier, Aaron? I think it is... Uh, it's 21. 21. Okay, yeah, Rurek, you can take 5 damage for your troubles. You get a stinging <laughs> oh slap. Do people get more damage if they're unconscious? Uh... Don't bring that up. I, 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 I don't know. Awesome. I'm not gonna... Yeah. Oh, don't crit. <laughs> I think it depends whether or not they want to be doing damage. Uh. Um. I was going for a lethal slap, by the way. <laughs> Rurek flutters his eyes, just waking <laughs> to Naren's Bare, bare attempts to try and wake him up. Hello, good morning. Why are you sleeping on the job, you lazy bastard? I'm sorry, it was... This place is pretty boring. Books. Books everywhere. Also, I'm pretty sure that was a spell. <laughs> Don't make up excuses for your laziness. Is Zarzan right, a right. snorer? Or does Zarzan, is he like a quiet sleeper? Nah, he's a quiet sleeper. Sure, okay. Probably noticed they're lying yeah. on the floor there. Let's go back. Gonna nudge Zarzan a little bit. Baron's ignoring the nudging, just going for a full on slap. Alright, yeah. Uh, Zarzan, you can take a couple points of damage as well. And, <laughs> and you, you, you awaken right up. Um, no, done with your napping. Kill the wizard. Jake, I'm going to take this opportunity to cast Beacon of Hope. Beacon of Hope! Beacon, Beacon of Hope! Beacon of Hope! Uh, <laughs> there we go. So, that's, uh, I think that's a concentration spell. Mm -hmm. Yes. I get knocked out right now. So, I'm no longer invisible, but I'm going to hold on to Beacon of Hope. Sure. Uh, Aaron, do you want the invisibility cog? Yes. <laughs> Alright, do, do you want the space shackles? Uh, yes. <laughs> okay, here you go. Here you go then. Aaron immediately goes invisible. Sure. Um. All right. Sure. So are you guys just proceeding? Yep. Yep. Uh, sure. Yeah. So you head round, um, and you you had, you had rolled pretty well on your thing. So you find yourself at the foot of a, uh, uh you, you find yourself at a doorway. But you're pretty confident based on like the geography of everything so far and like, you know, uh what Rurek remembers that there's probably a staircase behind this doorway. Um but the door looks uh there's like a kind of a symbol on it that suggests it's got some kind of spell going. Hmm. Anybody got uh got a sending stone? Can we take a picture and send us to Lida? Yeah, I've got my sending stone. Do you, want to, do you want to send it to her and see what's going on? Yeah. Send it to her. What's this? You like what's this? It's a, it's a symbol on a door, Zorgar. We want to know what it is. Yeah, what is it? I sent it to you. Um, yeah, if you're... Uh, give us an arcana check, Luna. Okay. <laughs> it's like, Emma doesn't know. <laughs> You're not a wizard? You're no wizard? <laughs> oh. Natural 20. Uh, hey. 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 Knows she knows. <laughs> sure. Uh, Oh, 
Oh yeah, that's an arcane lock. Okay. How do we unlock it? <laughs> How do we uh, make it not lock? Probably another, probably another dispel. It's usually how shit goes. But, uh, oh, well, okay. let me try to remember what how arcane lock works. Uh, um, so it probably has a password. Um, it's impassable until it's broken or the spell is dispelled or suppressed. Hmm. I don't think we're going to guess the password, are we? No, I doubt it. Uh, casting knock on the object suppresses arcane lock for 10 minutes. I can cast knock with my foot. What I miss? While affected by the spell, the object is more difficult to break or force open. I.e., it, it becomes pretty heckin' difficult to break it. Okay. Or pick it. the fuck on. Um, Jake, I'm gonna try a, a fourth level to smell magic on this on this thing. Uh, yeah, that'll do it, yeah. That'll do it? Yeah. By the way, All it's right. only a second level spell. <laughs> 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 that, was, that was like that was like an episode of The Office. You're like turning to the camera, like fuck. <laughs> uh, so yeah, I said those words. Sure, you did it. So Rick traces another sigil, uh, and He's then going it kind really of, hard on it. It kind of spins yeah. and, and matches up with the symbol on the door, and the symbol. Both symbols kind of dissipate. And it looks just like a normal door. Okay. I'm going to, full of disappointment, try and open up this door now. Yeah, it just unlocks and you can see a staircase. Um, you more, can, however, more stairs. Uh, more stairs. You can, however, see that the stair is covered in webs. Um, like this kind okay. of like thin blue. It looks almost like silk at first, like thin blue, kind of like filigree. Um kind of thing that looks like it's gonna you're gonna have to kind of like carve your way through and like kind of like force your way up the stairs blow away i can't blow i'm not i don't want to spend more spell slots zorgar can i um you got a flaming axe right oh yeah i probably even no i don't oh yeah that's not on and i have whip out my hand axes Mm -hmm. i have it going to town i have Uh, i could breathe fire on it Maybe, maybe that'll do it. Yeah. Yeah, man, I can, I can do that if you want. Yeah. Oh, fuck it. Okay, I'll go. Okay. Spit some fire for you. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I would have to roll to do that. Uh, if you're if you're spitting fire, you can just mark off your uh, breath weapon, and we'll, you know we don't have to roll for damage breath. for the weapon. Um. Okay. Sure. Um, yeah, so this, you kind of unleash a goat of fire, and it kind of burns its way through, um, and you, you know, the webs kind of smolder and, and burn away. Uh, you feel like you, you burn away like a quarter of the, the, the staircase up. Um, it's now free of webs, but you still got quite a lot of webs after that. My turn. Are you just doing the same? Yeah. Sure. How many times do we use breath weapon? Once, Once. per... Who... Until we get to uh, what level, and then we can use it twice. Oh, or yeah. can we? Levels. I don't know. Oh, well, I know Valasar can use it twice. I might be making that up. I don't remember. Oh, is it 16th level? Maybe. Naren, is your one the straight line? Mine is the cone. Zorgos is the straight line. Oh, okay. Okay, that's cool then. Let's, uh, yeah, let's keep going. Yeah, so hopefully a cone means it wraps around the walls and forms like a flame spiral. Whoa. Um, Does that happen? <laughs> not really. No. <Damn> it. <laughs> so between you and Zorgar, you kind of, you know, you ignite these webs and they kind of burn together um, and smolder away and clear about half the webs in the corridor. And you got about, you got about halfway up the staircase and then there's still more webs after that. Um... Use mm. my axe again to just kind of yeah, yeah. Wipe them away, I guess. Sure. So um, I, um, where's the tip to mark off breath weapon? 
I don't remember. It'd be on your sheet somewhere. It should be. It's not with any of my other tickets. I'll find it. Is it in your features, man? It'd probably be in your features, yeah. I mean, I have breath weapon in my features, but there's no tick box. Uh, I'm mm. not sure then. I can just roll. Just remember you used it. Yeah. Um. Sure. Can you give us a deck save, Zorgar? If you're cutting away at them? Yeah. Deck save. Oh, okay. God. Uh, so, with your one, uh, you start hacking away, uh, cutting into these webs, you know, cleaning up, and then you kind of kind of follow through a little too much on one of the swings and then you know your so, some of the webs wrap around your arms and then you're kind of struggling to get free and then other webs grab hold of your other arm and you're kind of effectively sort of like you kind of get kind of struggle and get kind of kind of restrained in the webs themselves and you're kind of stuck and, and the rest of you guys can see the head of you are kind of like uh, uh, three minutes yeah can you? I can cast freedom of movement on myself. Mm. Mm. Can you cast on more than one creature? Um, Just let him deal with this himself. I think you have to do it one at a time. Just do it on yourself. Get yourself out of there. Okay. I will cast that. Sure. Uh, yeah, you kind of cast your, you know, you do a little prayer to Mr. B, uh, and then you feel the webs kind of like detach themselves and kind of like almost be like repelled from you. And you kind of kind of land back in the uh, corridor and you're able to kind of continue slashing. You get about three quarters of the way. You know, there's just this last kind of wee chunk of webs before you can kind of see the faint outline of a doorway at the top of the stairs. Do um, any of us have torches in our bags? So it's a you question. I mean, I'm confident I do, but I don't know inventory actually. I'll do it, won't it? It seems a reasonable thing for you guys to have. Sure. Mm -hmm. Can I light a torch and just yeah. try and burn it with the torch? Yeah, sure. Yeah. Um, yeah, so you guys, it takes like, you know, you're there for like maybe like four or five minutes doing it total. Um, but you managed to clear this uh, stairway of webs and you can see uh, a door in front of you. Also with a similar symbol as the one you just opened. Oh, man. <laughs> fine. Fine. <laughs> so, it's fine I cast it at 4th level 4 because the spell magic is a 3rd level spell, so I wouldn't be able to cast it at 2nd anyway. I that's, that, that's how it works, right, Jake? You can't... Yeah. Yeah, okay. I will cast another 4th level spell. I'll sure. dispel magic. Um, okay. Yeah, the symbol disappears again. And the door is unlatchable. Okay. Who's taking the lead here? Can I go back invisible and take the lead? Yeah. Or Naren, I was, I was wondering, do is it better if you're invisible or like Zars and do you, would you want to be invisible with the cuffs? Why would I want to be invisible? Uh, sneakiness. Sneakiness. Naren's a big guy. How dare you? What? How dare I? What are you talking about? You're Sassy's a big guy! A dragon bond. He's pretty big. And you're bigger than Zarzan! Do we know that? Is that a Jake, who's yeah, bigger? Yeah, exactly. I, I, I don't know how big Zarzan is. <laughs> <You're> taller, bro. <laughs> Do you guys know how, know how tall your characters are? Seven foot. Yeah, seven foot. Are you seven feet? I think that, this seems to creep. I thought they were like six for eight last time we checked. Yeah. <laughs> no. Just oh, only it's, gets been, it's been seven foot ever since we tried rolling our stats, and then everyone was like, now nah, we'll pick. And I just kept the stats I rolled. Yeah, but you rolled like freakishly tall. Yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> and I was like, I'm keeping it. So I stick with my statement. Yeah, you're you're a big guy. Right. Um, fuck it, let's just go. Let's just go. Okay, cool. I'm just trying to visualize Aaron in my room, like seven feet tall. Mm -hmm. Big motherfucker. Um, mm -hmm. 
Sure. So, so who's taking the lead? Naren's taking the lead? Sure. The invisible? invisible Naren. Yeah. Okay. Uh, sure. Um, so you pop the door open. Um, and then are you just proceeding over? Yep. Okay. Can you give us a perception check? Twenty-two. Twenty-two. Okay. Uh, so the door opens uh, onto basically kind of like a balcony almost. Um, like there's you know there's no more corridor. You're just kind of on like a kind of a a stretch of corridor and on kind of on your left as you kind of you go through the door and turn right and then on the left on the wall to your left from that point uh, there are like three different doors or two to two doors um and you can also see with your 22 uh on the floor kind of halfway between those doors is this large uh faintly etched glowing sigil Hey, mom, I'll get laser back on the stone. <laughs> uh, here's, here's a stone. You have a stone left, Darren. Hi, later. What's the sitch? Um, well, I'm part four of the puzzle. Mm -hmm. There's two doors. Mm -hmm. And there's the sigil. And I'll paint a word picture of the sigil. I'm going to send a photo. Now it's painting a word picture of the sigil. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, all right, yeah, give us, an arcana check. Yeah. Probably with this advantage of Naren's painting you a word picture. Okay, I'll take the picture. <laughs> okay. <laughs> 24. 24. Uh, yeah, you can see that this is a glyph of wording. Ah, that, that's, the, that's the wording glyph. Again? Okay. Can we? Uh... Mean, that might be where it casts, because we can we can set up wards like all over the joint of the, of the ward. Mm. Can we rub it out? Can maybe can we, maybe can you we... can cut it out of the wood. And then just toss it off arm. the building. Yeah. yeah. Um, but like most things that you guys have shown me so far, probably going to be a dispel. Can Unless... can something else trigger it? Like if we got like a different animal, like a little animal to go. If you it it's not. I don't think it's gonna do. Well, let me look at my wording spell and see how it actually works before I start saying shit. Because Emma doesn't remember how it works. Sorgar, can you summon animals? No. No. Animals? Summon a griffin. Yeah, yeah, can you summon definitely. can you summon wee animals? Mm -mm. No. Okay. Uh, that's uh that's wrapping spell punk. Um, yeah. typical triggers include touching or standing on the glyph, removing another object covering the glyph, uh, approaching within a certain distance of the glyph, or manipulating the object on which the glyph is inscribed. So don't cut the um, don't, don't even approach it. Yeah. Um, for stuff on an object, most common triggers include opening that object, approaching within a certain distance, seeing or reading the glyph. Once the glyph is triggered, the spell ends. Uh, so, would I, Jake, would I be able to tell what kind of glyph it is? Because they, it's usually either explosive or a spell. Uh, this one looks like a spell, but you don't know what spell it is. Okay. So it's not going to explode. Mm -hmm. um, uh, that's a shame. But there is a spell stored in it, and I can't tell you what spell that is. Um, so. Yeah. Okay. Um. Hmm. Um, well, it also, I mean, it depends what the, the actual trigger is for the thing. But if you move the object that more than 10 feet away from where it was cast, the glyph will be broken. 
But I feel like if you open it or move it, it might just go off anyway, so. Also, I feel like the thing is doors. Uh, can you guys yeah, give me a so perception check? Perception? Yeah. Hmm. Anybody else? Sorry, up. Is it just a perception check? Yeah. Okay. Um, okay. But the chances are I'm rolling the, a cast. the trigger is probably opening the door, so if you did something else to the door, it might not go off. <laughs> You've rolled 9, 10, 11. <laughs> no. <laughs> Matt, yeah, is there any window trick? Uh, you can't see any windows there, no. Okay. Uh, you can just see door, mm -hmm. left on the floor, another door. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's on the floor. It's on the and floor. We're, yeah. And we're on like on the side of one of the doors. You, so you guys are you guys are here. Yeah. There's a door right here. Yep. There's a glyph here. There's another yep. one here, and then there's like wall, and there's like, kind of like a balcony railing. And is there <laughs> is there like a, a balcony on the other side of the the room? Uh, no. Uh, Niall, can you roll perception, please? Um. Oh, eight, nine, oh. ten, eleven. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can just um, you can just continue as you were. Do do we get a, you know, a five card trick for straight? <laughs> <laughs> no. Right. Before. Okay, so this is a pretty pretty shitty thing, but uh. Can maybe one of the tanks go ahead and walk over That's it? That's a shitty thing. I already ran headfirst into a wall and then got grabbed by an old man. <laughs> it could I be could... any spell. Remember. It could be any spell. That Do you not dispel? Is there... I've... Is there... You dispelled the last ward. I suppose I could, it's just I'd rather not, but... Okay. <laughs> You'd rather have one of the tanks have <laughs> something <laughs> anonymous happen to them. It's also, okay, okay. Uh, gl uh, putting a Glyph of Warding down is a third level spell. Alright. Uh, you guys, just back up into that staircase we were just in. I'm gonna go dispel it. Can you dispel okay. it from here? Uh, do it, can I dispel from here, Jake? I think you can, yeah. I think it's quite a long range. Because they I'm can scared. be cast at higher level, so in the higher the level it's cast at, the higher the level of spell can be stored in the glyph. You three, get off this balcony just now. I, don't, I just want you in that staircase whilst I do this. He doesn't like people watching. Yeah, I get <laughs> anxiety. He's yeah. He's stage fright. Yeah, exactly. Oh. I heard a, the tale, the beginning of what you said there, Zarzan, but... <laughs> <laughs> right, Jake, I'm going to cast the spell magic from here. Okay, what level are you casting that? Fourth. Can you give Fourth. us a spell casting roll thing? Yeah. Oh, that's the other, into that. I told, no, I told, okay, yeah, that's true. I told these guys to get into the stair well. Okay, that's so fine, yeah. I'm, okay. So, sorry, I'm just running a d20 here. Okay. Probably not. Plus five for wisdom. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Not gonna do it. It's not gonna uh, do it. So, let me see. Uh, uh, can you make a deck save, please, Rick? Mm hmm. Uh huh. Uh, Dex saving throw. Nineteen. Nineteen. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you are gonna take. Uh... You can take half of this. Oh fuck! So you oh, take twenty-five oh, damage. Okay. Uh, as you try and dispel the glyph, and then the glyph detonates with a spark. Uh, mm -hmm. It's going to be lightning damage. Uh, okay. Kind of surges Whoa. into slams you in the chest. Um, do I? 
Do I have resistance to lightning damage? Uh, I, I don't know. That's a you question. It might. Yeah. I, I think it gives you storm charge or something, doesn't it? I was I was just thinking I have a whole bunch of storm charge from all these spells I've been casting. Mm. Um, I I have resistance to lightning damage, so is that oh, half okay. to it's half again? Yeah. Okay, so that would be thirteen points of damage. Uh, yeah, sure. Yeah, so uh, eighty-eight that leaves me on. Uh, I I come back to the the entrance of the staircase like uh, Home Alone two after Marv or Harry no. Marv. Marv is like grabbed onto the electric thing and he turned into a skeleton. He has all his hair like frazzled <laughs> and shit. Rack is like you got like really like blackened face from like char or whatever and his hair is tingling up and he's just like Dud Got it. We're good Wait, now. You dispelled it? <laughs> yeah, it's dispelled. Okay. Yeah, no, 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 no. Which door is it? I'm gonna guess it's the second one. Um, are you turning back around to face the doors, Rick? Yeah. Uh, yeah. you can see at the far end of the balcony, uh, mm -hmm. the wizard is there. Oh. Kill the wizard! Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, wizard. So it's gonna be initiative. You're gonna wanna get those shackles on her fast. Yeah, now mm -hmm. is still invisible. Um, I guess initiative roll it is then. Um, hey, uh, you need to give me a minute, actually. Uh, okay. Take yeah. take five. Go go for a wee or whatever once. No, I just get oh, this. Gonna... The wizard, gonna... she's there. Yeah. There's no distractions <laughs> possible. Yeah. She's oh, there. you you wait. <laughs> I'm gonna take five to try and remember the where the initiative button is again. Every week I lose it. The top right of the um, character sheet. Thank man. you. That's all right. There's no active combat in Uh Yes, I'm, I'm working three on that threes. one. Three threes. Three threes. Uh, so I need to draw. And uh, four. Yeah, I've spent rectangle. three of those. Okay. So three times three is nine. And three times four is 12. But is the storm charge like capped to like 15 or something? Uh, Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Do you still have your storm charge armor, actually? I think I Is that what it was? It was the storm steel armor, wasn't it? Yeah, I think I did get taken off you. Bugger. Do I, I, I don't I have... I was looking at your D&D Beyond sheet, and it said mm -hmm. that because you're the hand of the storm, you get resistance to thunder and lightning. Yes, that's right. And yeah, you don't get storm charge, so that, that's from your oh, okay. armor. Yep. Um, so the yes. damage you take is like, affected, but... I also you, thought you, you got healed from charge. lightning, but I wasn't sure. Natural was... lightning. Natural lightning, okay. Natural lightning. You tried to burn my ship down several times with that stunt. Yeah. Oh, yeah, because you were like, I never, I never managed it. <laughs> Didn't manage it once. Fuck. I did get struck by lightning once. Hmm. Oh. Good times. That was good. That was good. So, can natural lightning not be sent down by Altius? Is all of Altius's lightning magical? Jake? Uh, uh, how would you know? Well, I, hmm, feels like something the hand of the storm should know. <laughs> um, you know, you you'd be you would if Altius wills lightning, it's it's natural lightning. Okay. Yeah. Like from your ex perspective, all lightning is is Altius's lightning. If it oh. like all natural lightning. Yeah. Uh, Maybe all weather is just. You cut off again. You keep cutting it's been off. Happening a lot tonight. Am I cutting off? Yeah, like halfway yeah. through your sentences. <laughs> <laughs> oh man! Enraged. Yeah. Nile uses rage. Okay. I can see you speaking, but you're muted. I think it can be us. Yeah, just he's talking. To me. Oh, he's testing his mic. I see. I see. Mm. Okay, you guys should all be able to roll for initiative now. Nice. 19.12. Activate this scene. Did Very you nice. find that initiative button? Oh, uh, Jake, I think it's pretending okay. that I have the shield, even though I don't. So uh, I think my initiative is 7.12, not 8.12. Okay. 
Oh, it's gonna be good. It's gonna be two of you. That's weird. I'll just delete this. <laughs> Double Rurak. Yeah, two Rurak. Y'all are telling me. Oh, really? Orpies, by the way. My, my uh -huh. voice is fine. Yeah, it was. It was like your mute button was. Yeah, yeah I don't know if you just beat yourself too fast. It went on. Yeah. Like midway through his sentence. Well, I, I had it on. I, I had it off while I was saying a sentence. You said it was cutting out. Oh, it's not that it was cutting out. It was like you were muting yourself on Discord. You could see the little mute symbol. Mm. Um, before you'd I finish was, your sentence. There was a bit where I was like, "Am I cutting off?" And you said yes. Did you were. You were. No, no, no. I was like, I'm like cutting off, and you said yes, and it made Oh, okay. That was... Well... <laughs> you could have worded the question better, to be honest, mate. So wait, what's the, um... <laughs> what's the rate of cutoff, like, do I... That was a cutoff, yeah. I know what's happening. Okay. It's because my audio is delayed. Well, from your... Oh. Uh, sure, sure, because you run through Reaper and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. That's a shame. That's a pain in the arm. Faster virtual cables. Um, if push you, to talk if you switch to push to talk, do you consider a release de delay on it? That's that's more hassle for my life, though. Oh, okay. <laughs> mm. <laughs> but I mean, it's an option. Uh... Okay. Um... So, I mean, so... Big in combat. So all you guys can see... The... The scene and stuff, right? Mm-hmm. Um... Sure. So, um... There is... So, so we have the initiative for whenever combat kicks off. There is a space for you guys to chat to her, if that makes sense. But, like, when they're kind of mutually detectable shit's going down kicks off the wizard's gonna go first we'll go into initiative order right does that make sense sure. yep um, does it look like the wizard was expecting us uh what do, do they look shocked they don't look give us an insight check um i mean right now we're actually the only one that can see the wizard actually but i can insight through walls apparently oh no um, it's like, even if there wasn't a wall. So I, I saw, I see her, right? I'm kind of looking at her. I'm, yeah. I'll, uh, what's up, uh, there she is. And I'm going to step aside and give them the room. If I, if I can step that one space to the north, Jake. Yeah, that's you should be able to drag it. Can I drag it? Nice. Uh, in fact, I will, no, I'll just stay here. Step aside, make room for everyone else to come through. Um, I'm gonna give her a little wave. I'm gonna maybe whisper to Rurek and be like, stall her. So. <laughs> <laughs> nice, uh, <laughs> nice glyph stuff. there. I like what are you doing lightning. Here? Can I, um, use the opportunity of them talking to try and move up on her while I'm visible? Uh. uh yeah, you can. So, Naren, you, you start kind of, you sneak out and start heading uh, towards her, uh, and you notice know, she immediately glances to where you are. Bullshit, like, wizards. I can't take with you. <laughs> I'll give her a wee thumbs up. She kind of motions you backwards. <laughs> Look back, <tough>. off. <laughs> what are you doing here? Aaron? Might as well I'm un uninvisible now, seeing, seeing as it doesn't matter. Um, first question, how do you keep doing that? It's bullshit. Do you just have better eyes? She says, why are you here? Uh, we wanted to have a discussion with you. About what? Um, about your political standpoints and... Uh, is she... I am assuming if she can see through invisibility, she's seen through our seeming. 
I mean, you're not. Oh, even I'm not. Disguised I'm anymore. not even. Oh yeah, fuck. Okay. But she she seemed to immediately like identify who you guys were. Um. Yeah. Can we sit down and chat? I think here's fine. Uh, do you have a stance on the war, or are you just blindly loyal? I have a stance. Care to expand? Not particularly. You barge into my place of work unannounced. You set off glyphs and wards, you know, this is going to take Sorry about that um, we're... Give me one reason why I shouldn't just disintegrate you all here right now and rid, rid, rid this country of the problem Do you not wish to see um, a better, freer scale? I do Because um, we're also seeking to bring an end to the mainland war so, one of our primary objectives. We may seem like a annoyance problem here, but uh, we know that there's far worse will happen if we don't try something. What exactly are you going to try? Well, Dethrone Palisar? How do you intend to do that? You're in the wrong city. Uh, step we, by step. We need a foothold. Process. Don't tell of that. Uh... She immediately is like... She oh, why would you tell her that? <laughs> um, are you aware of Scale's chats with the East Eastrath? Yes. Oh. Hmm. And you're all for taking the mainland to be scales? I didn't say that. Okay. Um, why are you standing by idly? I do as I'm instructed. Are you loyal to your clan or to this nation? Can I not be loyal to both? Not if you both have differing um, needs. Do they? Sure. Uh, something like that may have been suggested. So not content with bringing ruin to Karen Tall's people, you intend to bring ruin to Armin's as well? Karen Tall was a bit of a mock-up. Um, Most things your group involved themselves in seem to be. Uh, yeah. <laughs> but uh, we have good intent, and maybe with enough help from the right people, it might not be a mock-up and it might actually be a uh, good movement. Good outcome. All we need is help from good people like yourself. What help, exactly? Turning sides, uh... Or just simply not standing in our way. Notice the city isn't in the best of health. It's had better times, admittedly. We have, um, we have powerful magic users. We have 
powerful individuals that inspire many. We can help. Help what? Help the city. How? You rebuild, repair. Look like a great morale. deal of rebuilding after a siege, won't there? You have to make a mess to tidy up. Do you? I mean, that's at least how I tidy. I don't know. And I just sort of keep staring at you guys wearily. Um, clearly you must have some doubts about the Scale Lord and the whole stance of the nation. Well, the stance the nation has been forced into currently, otherwise you would have already disintegrated us. Would I? I think so. Yes. What other reason would you have to not? Is there anything we can do for you? Is there anything that a group of our skill can do for a wizard like you to prove that we are people of good character? A good you can order your army to turn around, not harm the people of the city. We don't wish to harm the city. And it will. To. Our army is also just made up of people of this city, people of Carantol, who are tired of the Scale Lord. That is all our army is founded from. Just people from this country who are tired and willing to do something about it. You understand your appearance at the restaurant yesterday puts me in a tricky situation right now. Please, could you elaborate? I'm a servant of Fine Urus, also a soldier. If those I serve were to discover that I met with you and not resolve the situation with no small amount of force, I would be in deep trouble. Unless we could think, keep things quiet until we have control of the city and you would be out of harm's way. Given everything I have seen thus far, I don't expect you are especially capable of that. Okay, I'm not very good at keeping things quiet, no. But uh, we've already had meetings with multiple clan leaders or just clan members. Were you aware of that? Insane. Okay. We have more support in this country than you'd expect. Um, Our group knows a thing or two about rebuilding as well. If you want, we can put on a performance here, just to make it look like you put up a fight. And we'll I can be leave loud. as long as we know we have your support. I can't guarantee you must. If your clan was you given behind me any reason to. If your clan was behind our movement, would you? I would do as I was instructed. By the army or by your clan? My loyalty lies to the Cerulean first and foremost. 
perhaps speak to the leader of your clan about this matter. See what they have to say. Perhaps. So what, do you expect to just... waltz out of here? After making your presence so brazenly known? What's your alternative? <laughs> There are a few good ones. Like I said, we can put on a performance to make it look like we didn't just waltz out. Keep damage to a minimum, of course. We don't want to <laughs> have more stuff to repair. He kind of looks over the balcony. Um, and she says, If you can make yourself scarce, I will... Pass the details of this conversation on to the Cerulean and to no one else. I am um, kind of try and tap Naren, get him to come down and just whisper. Maybe, maybe, uh, say you want to arrange a meeting? Yeah, I was just about to say that, yeah. How would you meet it? So, uh, look, we, we have. Uh, we'll agree to that plan, um, but just so we know where we stand, can we have a meeting a couple of days from now? With who? With you, just to discuss. We already have another meeting booked with you know, another clan, but uh, we can squeeze you in. Uh, <laughs> probably, this is not in character, how many days to the assault? <laughs> uh, today's the 22nd, the army arrives on the 25th. We have um, to, you have two, two days. Have a meeting on the 24th? Yeah, in that's the, the morning. The, the green sign things. But also, okay. we're going up north? Naren isn't that for sure. Naren's not, okay. Um, Non-dragonborns non are coming up north for like a day. We <laughs> need to hopefully not <laughs> fuck it up for a day. Yeah. But, um, uh, the 24th. Could we meet with you then? I can't uh, make any guarantees about that. That's fine. If you don't show up, we'll know you're not with us. Um, if you do show up... Um, well, then you show up and we know you're with us. Um, I'll give them uh, an address off the street neighbouring the warehouse, I guess. <laughs> Uh, you guys remember that you guys had a meeting with the Cerulean already, right? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I'm saying go talk to them. Uh, yes, that if we can convince them that we're worth their time and we can do it without bloodshed. It was mainly the without bloodshed thing. If you can prove you're going to do stuff, then. And then they sent us an army, <laughs> or a legion. They're kind of separate from the Cerulean. Still, I mean, there's been little bloodshed so far. I don't think we've gotten a <laughs> fight fight. Right? <laughs> 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 well, we did, like, two sessions ago, slaughter a bunch of Exia spies. It's they fine. They to kill us. That's, that's different. Self-defense. That's on them. Exactly. Okay, I guess um, we should get out of here then. Um, is it safe to exit this way? Or will we be seen if we just... off the balcony? 
what 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 is Naren trying to suggest that, that you guys do? Leave. Like, like, are you talking stuff, like yeah. swan diving off the balcony? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Down like three stories. I mean, Naren will be not, fine. <laughs> let's not do that, Naren. Let's walk the way we came. Uh, I assume if we walk the way we came, we'll have to find a different route out. Yeah. Okay. Do you have uh, another route? Out? The window is open. Oh yeah. All right. I'm going to ask you a favor. That's a bold move. Oh yeah. But you know, uh, we stick out like a sore thumb. Is there anything you can do to help us be discreet? Help us help you. I can't risk hitting you. That's fine. Um, okay. What's up? Um, let's go. let's get out of here. Tell you what, um, we get to the window. Can I? I've never arranged this for Raffin. I could just like some sort of like whistle for Raffin to <laughs> kind of like come over. Uh, um, that might draw more attention than just Raffin. Okay, well. Yeah, I'm sure Raffin... you could, could do something to get Raffin yeah. to come over. Uh, Raffin, can you um, can you turn this into wind so we can get out of here? Uh, yeah, that so seems like a reasonable thing. Everyone is seeming except me. Do we have seeming still? I thought seeming was dropped. No, just Leon. Oh, oh, just Baron. Yeah. Oh. I have a hood. I'll be fine. Well, if still you're fine, then we can, we can just go then, right? Yeah. Do you want to walk through the streets with the hood? Yeah. Okay, then. Okay. Never mind. It's been a pleasure. Sorry for ruining your glyphs and wards and your spider webs. Your friend is downstairs. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so her eyes kind of go wide, Sorry. and she looks as if she just regretted like the past five minutes. <laughs> <laughs> He's just knocked out. He's got air. He's you should fine. go before I change my mind. Okay. Leave goodbye. It. Let's go. <laughs> um. Sure. So yeah. So uh. She she had, she I suppose directs you into the the leftmost of the doors, like the nearest door to where you guys came up, uh, which is not her office, but it's like an empty room, and you know there's a sash window there that is pretty easily lift upable, um, and you're you're on you're on the third, so you're you're on the third floor, but there's also a ground floor if that makes sense, like yeah. the kind of British system, so that you're technically like four stories up. Swan dive. Three, three stories. Are, are you just fucking onto the concrete? Swan dive. I've got to use featherfall halfway down, but swan dive. Can I have okay. you grab on? Darren just featherfall. jumps. Very subtle. Very subtle. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to take the stairs. No, you're not. I don't think there are any stairs. I think no, the whole point is we have to exit through the window. No, fuck this. Let's just turn to wind. Let's just get for half the turn to like, wind. I like the wind plan. Sure. Right. Raffin. Yeah. Windows up. Wait, that might not be good because you guys are supposed to come up north and you need the spell slots for it. Is is that the spell, is that the, is that the same spell slot to that, teleport? No, but we could teleport today. I don't know what druid spells are like. So 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 I mean this feels like a good time to discuss your plan for the north. So what is your plan? I had the notes that I had were that you were gonna Travel via plants to Rel, meet up with Malbrin, and then windwalk over to the Shadowguard Keep. Oh, that's right. And then yep. stay the night, and then windwalk the next day as well. Is that right? That is right. That was the that was the plan. Yeah. Okay. Okay then. So I mean, if that was the plan you guys made, then you will know that Raffin can only do two of those things per day. Okay. Then. What spell slot numbers are those? Uh, six and seven. But does he only have one six from one seven? I think they're they're both six level spells, but he has one six level slot and one okay. seventh level slot. Okay. Okay. Good to know. Um. Right. So okay. We're back to the swamp dive. Yeah, we're back to just climbing down the wall. Um. 
person has rope, could they try and use that to yeah. Yeah, have to sail down the side? Quickly um, use some rope. I'll be at the bottom waiting for you. See you down there. Wait, okay. but if you're feather falling, you can feather fall everyone. Uh, I think it's only me because it's a cloak. But if it's like you can cast Featherfall using the cloak, you can cast that. That would mean you're casting the spell, which means you can do it on like seven people. It, it, tar- it would target Aaron because it's like it says cloak is made of moths, and the moths all oh, okay. flap around. Can you can you carry someone whilst you fall? Can you carry Rurik? Right? Okay, I'll carry Rurik. Hey, 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 grab onto his legs. Sure. Is it just like attaching lead to my feet and I just. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> um, and then Zarzan and Zorgar, how are you getting down? Absolutely. Well, I wish I wish that was discussed. You know, <laughs> we discuss yeah. right now. Hmm. Not really, you just jumped out the window. I mean, you guys can catch the him. Only- the only thing I see is roping down, assuming that that's just cool to do. Can we do that? Uh, yeah, there's like a big desk in here. You can try to rope around that. Okay. Yeah, are you guys just doing that? Yeah. Sure. Um, I mean, you know, Zarzan's a ranger. He's probably, he knows all the boys going on, presumably. Um, so you're able to hitch a a rope quick and you guys fire out after Aaron Rank. Um are you in any way doing this in like a stealthy manner? Um Well, you know, as stealthy as you can abseil down the side of a four story building. Sure. Yeah, okay. as stealthily as possible. In broad daylight. Uh <laughs> Yeah, because Naren and Rurak, you very much land in the midst of like a gag like a group of scholars who are just coming into the library. Uh they're just they're just walking casual. along and then there's a Impact. Um, just gonna then, keep my head down, be like morning, and walk on. <laughs> they like uh, look up and I... then see uh, Zorgar and Zorgar. <laughs> you need to abseil them. Can I um, have a big book, close it shut, and then do some twinkly magic like I'm a wizard, and then go off with Naren? Sure, yeah. They're like, what? Do- they start yelling at you and Draconic, <laughs> and then you just slam your book. Um, yep. And Zorgar and Zarzan arrive down at ground level around about this time. Um, so from here, what is your plan? Uh, get out of sight, make sure no one's tailing us, go back to warehouse. Sure. Um, mm-hmm. There is a crack of lightning out of the window you guys just escaped shortly after everyone lands. Nice. Okay, um, cool. And, and so you're just, just ask the question and you gave an answer and I listened to the answer and then I totally <laughs> forgot it. Uh, We're going to the warehouse. Going to the warehouse. But getting yeah. outside, making sure we're not being sure. failed first. Okay. Can everyone give us a stealth check then? Um, Darren, you still have the invisibility thingy. Uh, yes, can I have advantage? <laughs> uh, sure, yeah. <laughs> yes, much better. Doubled my score. Normal stealth check. Ten. All Ten. right. Okay. So, I mean, you know, Zarzan's a pro. Zarzan just, like, doesn't attract any attention. Um, Naren's got his hood up. He's doing okay as well. Uh, Zorgar and Rurek, um, you feel like everywhere you're going, there are people that are, like, like turning around. Like, you know, like, you can hear, like, vague voices, like, shouting behind you. And, like, you, you feel like people are turning their heads to look at you as you go. Um... Mm. So you, you very much do not feel like you're being stealthy. I'm going to not go to the warehouse then. Uh, where should I? Uh, Aaron, where where should we go? Zorgar, where where should we go? Do they know where we are? Just we'll hide somewhere for a bit. Jake, is there any uh, rack shaped barrels? <laughs> Any Rurak shaped barrel? Uh, Most barrels yeah. are in the shape of Rurak. Yeah. Uh, I mean, you know, you pass by a tavern, they probably have some, some barrels at the back, maybe? 
Uh, yeah. Is there uh, <laughs> any that look like they've uh, been sitting there for a while? Or, um... Go with your left chain. Yeah. Uh... So if you if you enter in the back of this this tavern, you can see there's mm -hmm. like a there's like a large um, like wine pot, uh, mm -hmm. big barrel. This looks like it's empty, um, like it's you know there's like a there's like a tap at the bottom of it. Um, it looks like it's like a finished keg. Um, and you're you're pretty sure you could fit inside that. Does it look like it's moved frequently, or people are around it frequently? Um, it's difficult to. Tell it's got some mud on the bottom that suggests it's been like out the back for a while. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna. I'm but gonna... it is like right next to the back door. It's empty. It's. No, it's okay. presumably empty. Well, I'll open up the top and see if. Uh, yeah, can no. I open up the top? Uh, yeah, you can, you can, you probably have to maybe have to use the, the 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 pommel of your your hammer, but you're able to like prize mm -hmm. it up, and you can see there's it's not like totally empty. There's a tiny, there's like an inch of wine at the bottom, but it's effectively empty. What do you think, Zorgar? I think you'll fit. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. Then. There's somewhere to hide. Like a, probably like a foot up, so you can yeah. jump in. And I'll uh. That's what I'll do, Jake. Sure, you're just gonna hide, in the, hide this... in the wine. I'm gonna hide in the wine. All right. So, yeah. where are you doing? I'm looking for like a two barrels so I can get in one and then put the other one in so I can like, stand <laughs> up in it. <laughs> uh, I, I mean, roll, roll a d100. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Jake, I don't suppose there's a cork. Uh, there's a cork, there's a cork oh. hole. There's no cork in it. I rolled two by accident. Mm. <laughs> a hundred. Uh, yeah, there, there's two barrels nearby. Yes, um, so you could stack on one another. They're, they're very yes. definitely not stacked right now. So if you did stack them, someone who has seen the, the you know the barrels might be like, why are those barrels stacked now? Um, but yeah, you're, you're like, yeah, I can totally do that. I can't believe they rolled a 100. It's <laughs> <That's> amazing. <laughs> yeah, so I'm just going to stand there for a bit. Sure. How long are you guys going to wait in these barrels? Um, Until, like... There in the barrel. I feel like I want to wait for, like, the sound of people inspecting or guards that are... If I can hear armor moving like towards us and then away, then I think I'll feel fairly comfortable that sure. they've lost us. Yeah. Okay. Um. And meanwhile, Naren and Zarzar and you're just heading back to the warehouse, right? Yeah, checking for tails, but yeah. Sure. Uh, yeah, you don't seem you don't really notice any tails either of you. Um. So about half an hour goes by and you arrive back at the warehouse. No sign of Sorgar or Rurek, uh, but Mir will be there studiously copying out the book. Uh, so Mir, give us an Arcana check. Let's yeah. see if you glean anything else. Uh, character Sheik. Arcana. Nineteen. Nineteen. Um... Uh, you, with a 19, uh, you notice, um, that there's an entry that mentions offhandedly that, uh, the ceremonial oath within the Keldrath armies has changed recently. Um, like it used to be, they'd be like, oh, I, say, I swear my allegiance to, you know, like, you know, how, like, like when you're in, you, you know, in America, you like, I swear my allegiance to like the flag, the state and the army or whatever. Um. There's just kind of an equivalent kind of oath uh, for um, for the the scale military, and up until recently, it's always been like the the, the important phrase has been that you uh, swear your allegiance to scale. Uh, that has recently changed to be that you swear your allegiance to Clan Keldrath, as distinct from. 
push okay. maybe seems significant. Um, yeah, you're making pretty good headway on the book. You're like, I don't know, three hours away from having it finished. Do you think? Okay. Uh, you're starting getting into the like the real recent juicy stuff. Oh. Um. Spicy gossip. And then. I don't know. They both roll pretty well, so it might be that like, um, you kind of like look out the corner of your eye and then Naren is there. Ah, oh, I messed up the page. I could have at least not. How'd it go? Uh, about as well as you could have expected. The wizard's I, alive. I yes, yeah, so we can't help but notice there's no wizard with you. Was that supposed to be? <laughs> I thought you were going to chuck her in a lake or something. Is this the bite? Hmm? She's alive. We tried discussing things with her. Okay, how'd that go? We'll find out in two days. <laughs> Good game mode. Oh. Movie oh, manual expert. Movie expo. manual expert. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> My thing is fucking up. You haven't seen the other two, have you? I have not. Now, normally I would be thrilled that we haven't senselessly killed somebody, but what happens if she says no? Then we're back to square one with this whole wizard thing. She has yeah, a yeah. giant laser beam. Listen, she threatened disintegration. What were we supposed to do? <laughs> I don't know. Um, so yeah, half an hour and 40 minutes goes by for barrel lads. <laughs> and then you you hear in the distance some... Oh, he's back. He's... Oh. Uh, he's green. Uh, yeah, you hear in the distance uh, some clanking and like some, some muffled sounds of people going... Did you say... Huh? Huh? Okay. Yeah, we're looking for that. Okay. Uh, thank you, sir. Uh, and then the armor kind of clanks off again. Um, Let's give him five minutes. And then uh, I'm going to speak for the whole. Hey. Hey. Hey, Zorgar. Zorgar, are you there, buddy? I got my eye comes up to the hole in my eyes. Like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You think, you think it's safe? Yes. And then we can go. All right. Rex, Rex, um, <laughs> Rex keg shuffles. <laughs> and then he pops his head out. Actually, I think we better if we walk. Let's, um, let's go. We could roll. We could roll. Oh my God. <laughs> That'd be great. I think we should walk. Otherwise, it would feel like it. it <laughs> I think it's a bit. I think it's a bit more suspicious, isn't it? Can All right. Sneak back. You uh, you lead the way. And I'll be. Okay. I'll be right behind. Right behind you. We're gonna be as stealthy as we can be. Sure. Uh, yeah, you can go ahead and give us both a stealth check again. Can I use thaumaturgy at any chance I can to like make? Bell ringing sounds in kind of the opposite direction from where we're going, where wherever sure, there's yeah. a crowd, um, cats knocking shit over, that kind yeah, of thing. You can have advantage. You're doing that. Advantage. Okay. Okay. Um. Sixteen. Mm. So that's not nineteen. That's a thirteen. Mm -hmm. With stealth is fourteen. Fourteen. Okay. With a fourteen and a sixteen, um. Yeah, you guys arrive back at the warehouse. We're like, you're, you're, you're like half, you're like 50 50 on whether someone maybe shot you like a confusing look. Like, like, is that something? Hmm. Like, they, they, you feel like someone may have looked at you suspiciously, but may also have just been looking at something else and you've like picked it up wrong because you're like, mm. you, know, you know, in the, you're kind of paranoid about it. Uh, but you guys mm. arrive back at the warehouse um, where Mira and Naren and Zarzan are. Uh, and presumably Raffin is back as well. Mm -hmm. Um. Uh, yeah, and there's an opportunity for you guys to debrief and stuff. What is your next plan? Hi, everyone. Hello. Um, I've, I've, 
I, th I think we got back without anyone spot, like knowing where we are. I didn't uh, see anyone see us. Yeah, so someone might have given me a look, but I think we're okay. Um, just a harmless glance. Yeah, I think so. I think, um... Well, the rear, um, they gave you the rundown, right? Yeah. Okay. So, I know that Lydon needs us up north. So, I think we need to kind of work out the logistics of what's happening with that. And what's yeah. happening here. A few more hours, and then I'll be good to go. Oh, yeah. Um... Okay. Uh, Naren, are you with us? Naren is here. Naren is here. That's good. So, obviously, Lydon needs us up north. So, some of us are going, and some of us are staying here. Is that is that right? I think so. I think just the Dragonborn are staying. Sorry, Leia. Yeah, Sarge and Naren and Sorka are staying. I think. Okay. You guys gonna be okay? Cause. You won't have any disguises or anything. I will be fucked, but it's fine. We can stay in the warehouse. We'll just live in the barrels. <laughs> yeah, we got the right. barrels. You got the That's barrels. Yeah. <laughs> I'm always gonna remember the barrels. Yeah. All right. Well, why don't I leave you some? Uh, I'll leave you my my scalar coin. Here you go. Um. And I guess so. We're gonna go up north. With Kraffin, you and myself. Um, we're going to pick up Malbrun. And we're going to meet Lydda. And... Oh. oh, hello. He's in. He's out. He's in, he's out. He's left, he's, he's right. He's green. He's up and down and he's shaking it all, all around. around. Uh, I give it. <laughs> hey, he's back. Hello. <laughs> um, so yeah, when... Uh, when do you want us back? ASAP. ASAP. Before yeah. the siege, because the very not here for the siege. Well, this war well, might be over. When is the very latest the week should be back? The morning of the siege. Sure. Or well, that would be better, but yeah. you don't know when they're showing up. They could be showing up like crack of dawn. I thought we did know when they're showing up. We know the 25th. Do we know the time of day? Can we estimate it? Oh, do we have a meeting on the 24th, though, don't we? The 25th, sorry, is when the army rocks up. But don't we have a meeting with the... 24th. Mm. Yeah. Jake, have I spotted any ravens? Crows? Any ravens? Um, they're not native here, so there are no... There are no, um... Ravens are, of course, as you would expect them to be. There's maybe like a kind of like a, you're like, that's kind of like a dino raven. Like, you know, you maybe see one or two of them. <laughs> now, dino ravens. Can I just try a little, like, Altian tongue and try and call it over? Um. Sure. Now give us an animal handling check. Okay. Okay. Um, Wait, twenty-three. Sure. So it kind of it kind of hops over, but you get the sensation that it's hopping over just because I don't know, like not because, not specifically because you, it's you talking to it. It's just you feel like mm. it just kind of hopped over because I don't know that dwarf looks like a nice guy. Mm. <laughs> All right. Um, it's like a little like dark pterodactyl thing. Craffin, what do you think the odds are of getting this little guy to carry a message to and from the army for? Naren and Zorgar. Um, that's probably the sort of thing Raffin could sort out. Um, okay. I would, I would, I would imagine that's fairly achievable. Uh, yeah, I think. Uh, do you guys not have a sending stone with the army, anyways? Oh, do we? I think so. We do. I forget. Oh, you don't I have one with like Bailey for them. Right. Yeah. Well, we'll just ask ask him when they're going to arrive then. Yeah. Okay. 
Well, um, okay. You can you can contact us with the sending stone and tell us when the army is going to arrive, and we will be back before then. Okay. Okay. Otherwise, I think we're going to leave you. Cool. Okay. Do you need anything? Anything we can do before we go? Um, can I have another invisibility cog, if that's possible, Mew? Yeah, yeah, sure. I can grab one of those ones. Just let me finish. Let me finish the book first. They don't have like a expiry date, do they? I don't think so. I'm let pretty me sure check. they must have an expiry date. In the beyond. Uh, it just says until it's been used twelve times. Um. Yeah, let me have a look. You can make the thing once per long rest. Okay, so you can't you you so you have you could make him a new car, but you'd have to wait until the morning. Okay. And then you could make him a new car. We can't wait till morning. I think we should leave today. Just, just to use the one we have is not being used that much. Still got like seven things left in it. Eight. I feel like it only has five. Still quite a lot. No. Oh dear. Turn the streams to open. I've lost them. Oh, one wrong. Let's try. Quit Discord. Try again. Discord, open it up again. Come on. Hello? Son of a bitch. Hello. 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 Sorry, I, it, was, it went all weird. It went all weird. Turn on my camera. Did it go weird for anyone else? Uh, yeah, you were frozen. Yeah, you yeah, were just frozen, frozen for us. Oh, that's weird. Okay. I could see you on the stream, though. Um. Sure, sorry, so what did, what did, where did we get to? What did I miss? Just talking about cogs. Talking about cogs. Doing some cog math. Right. Mm -hmm. that, that, as we're done. Uh, Naren has six uses of the cogs left. Sure. Yeah. Um, other than that, I think we should probably shake a leg and get up north. Muir, are you Still able to do the book? You can just put, pass it through the pocket if they need it, can't you? So. That's true, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'm good uh, to go. I'm good to go. All right, well... Good luck, guys. Don't die. Um, yeah. No. Fuck your message if we do. Okay. Mm, we're dead. I'll haunt the fuck out of you. Oh. <laughs> okay. Um. Jake, can I do like any sort of? prayer or blessing or something along those lines for these guys before uh sure yeah yeah um Can... i'm not 
exactly sure what form that would take. Um, to be... It's never hurt to try a divine intervention, really, does it? So... <laughs> <laughs> this guy. Would that be all right? Uh, are you, are you sure, where, where are you going to try the divine intervention? Um... I... <laughs> This is a, this is just a bit of a cop up, but I would just like I would just want them to have luck on their side, okay. Um, whilst we are um, not present, well, yeah, you know, was we get so lucky the deed to the city ends up in our hands. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yeah. Please. Wow. We're so lucky. Sure. Is that, I mean, is yeah. That... Roll for it. Yeah. Okay. Roll for it. Okay. That's a forty-six. That's a fail. Okay. <laughs> yeah. But uh, um, the sentiment was there. The relief yeah. in Jake's voice. <laughs> yeah. Just <laughs> time the D100 comes out, man. I'm like, oh god. Yeah. Oh god. Um, cool. Uh, failing that. Is there anything with like concordant? Well, how does concordance work again, Jake? Is there uh, any sort of is, um, it's it wouldn't normally be used for blessing it's it's more of a thing for you rather than a thing for them like you you know um, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You, you do concordance and then you might summon an angel down or you might get a little blessing for yourself or you might be cursed um okay there's not so much like two little you can't really concord and do concordance for other other people okay then um i guess the last thing i could think of would just be enhanced ability then um can i Yes, how long does it last for? Uh, lasts for one hour. You guys plan on talking to anybody, or you just want to be sneaky for the next hour? Uh, both? I can do one or the other. Lucky draw. I honestly don't know how the next hour is going to go. It could go either way. I think... You plan on staying here? I get bored, go for some food. Okay then. Um, I'm gonna cast um, Enhance Ability at 5th, Jig. Mm -hmm. And give the, um, the Charisma one. What's that one? The Charisma one is Eagle Splendor. They have advantage on Charisma checks. Sure. Yep. So that's for one hour. Okay. Okay. Um... But otherwise, you guys are just basically going to head off. Is that right? Yeah, just um, find a big tree with Raffin. Okay. And uh, um, head on out. Sure. So, Lita, what have you been up to recently? For the past couple of hours. Um, so, you, we had left you. You'd arrived at the Shadow Guard Keep. You had met Oscar. Uh, and you and Tidius had made a, a loose plan that you were going to have those guys come over. Um, and then a couple of hours had gone by. Have you been up to anything in particular? Anything specifically? Um, probably raking out cloaks. Sure. Finding if there's any, if they've got any maps for like, um, where they were going or any plans to put anywhere or something like that. Sure. Um, they don't have any maps of where they were going, but they probably have some maps of some maps of the expanse itself. It's like it's kind of it's not like it's very much like a kind of like the kind of map like like you know frontiersmen would make. Um, where they're like, oh, they're over here. There's like a big mountain, and it's very kind of like very loose. Um, but at least gives you kind of an idea of the geography. Um, so, um, this mountain that Oscar had mentioned, Valmark, that's marked on there. Uh, it's in this region called Kalheim. Um, and kind of between the keep and that that bit of the expanse, there's this. Uh, there's a couple of places. Um, there's a kind of a, a place marked as the Chill Winds, um, which um, kind of there's like some literature that kind of Oscar will be able to show you that kind of like matches up with it, uh, and you can see that this this it's basically like ice flats, um, that bit, and then there's also this place called the Serpent's Gorge, um, and it's like a like kind of like a burrowed gorge through kind of the ice sheet, um, and. There's like suggestions that there might be maybe things, and there might be an actual serpent in that gorge, uh, but they're like, don't know, I haven't seen it. 
and then they, you get the impression that the knights here don't like they don't do a whole lot of like scouting, um, but they they have a you know vague idea of the geography of the place, uh, certainly enough for you to get your bearings, um, and yeah, Oscar will be able to give you like winter clothes uh, and the like, um, look out clothes for you. Uh, it's like you said, your your friends are coming. Do they need clothes as well? Oh, uh, they probably will. Sure. How many? Uh, one, two, three, four? Four. Four. I think. And and, and you as well? And me. And, and him. And, mm. Okay, I'll have a look. I don't know if we have that many. They might have stuff on them, but I don't know if they will. Sure. Um, yeah, he goes back a while later. He's like, I, I have... Um, he's already looked out cloaks for you and Tidious, and he's like, I found another three. Uh, one of them is a bit ratty, um, but I, I'm afraid someone might have to go without. We'll figure out, we'll figure out. Okay. In the meantime, I'm going to spend some time, like, plotting a route to where mm -hmm. I think we need to go on all these maps that are sort of sure. collected, try and, like, piece together a thing. Sure, give us an investigation check, I guess. You're a smart lady. 25. 25. Um, yeah, you're like, okay, I mean, you know, within, you know, a certain margin of error, because if I lose these maps, I'm pretty sure I know where we're going and how we're going to get there. Um, so, you know, you feel like you have a good idea of the lay of the land. Like, you you, you know, you, you kind of... Like we're going for this mountain, and, and you know, there's like this forest is near there, and also this mountain range. So you know, you feel like you'll be able to spot them really easily and get your bearings on stuff. Okay. And uh, with whatever other time I have left, I've got nothing else to do. So I'll, if there's a fire going somewhere, yeah, I'll go a fire near the that. Room. I'll get warmed up and just have a sit for a while. Yeah, Chinese kind of comes over. And sits with you. He has not been busying himself doing useful things. He's been kind of like parting around, poking at stuff, reading his spell book, and you know, that kind of thing. And he kind of sits down and he's like, I still think this is pretty stupid. Why? It just, I mean, it's. No offense, but we're relying on your companions coming through on this one. Yeah, that's better than us going alone. This thing is, I'm not convinced we're not going to end up going alone. Oh, no, they're coming. They said they would come. They'll, they'll come. How much do you or trust them? Get a message. Um. See, so, yeah, unless you get a message, they're right, right there. There's, you know, that... Well, there's always something that could go wrong. You've got to, you've got to account for these things. I guess so. I mean, <laughs> you know, actually, you're right. <laughs> He kind of crosses his arms. Uh. Mm. Well, li listen, you just. You, whatever plan you have, you never know if someone's going to come up and get in the way, and it's all going to change. So. Uh. Oh, you know, if they end up not coming, that's fine. We'll just have to figure something else out. But for now, it's, they haven't told me otherwise, so I'm assuming they are coming. Alright, how long are we going to wait? Um, well, they had stuff to do, and then they have to teleport up to Rel, and then they've got to wind walk all over here. That could take a wee while. So I guess, you know. Now, what time is it about now, anyway? Uh, it's getting to, like, at this point, it's getting to, like, early, like, kind of like your approach at dinner time. Mm. Like, Oscar, oh, around about this time, actually comes through and he says, are you going to stay for dinner? Do you want food? Yes. Okay. Yes, we will. It goes away um, again. It's getting late already now anyway, so I don't think we would be setting out tonight because, I mean, the weather gets worse at night time. It's colder. Yep. Less sun. Um, so we just wait until tomorrow morning, I guess. I feel like we'll be here before then. Right, okay. Plus, me, I need some spells to recharge. That would be good. At least the high level ones. Just, I feel like we're about to get in over our heads here. 
You know, like he's talking about armies and artifacts and We're just going two of us. to look. Well, there's gonna be six of us. So and we're gonna we're not it's not gonna take us that long to get there because Kraken's gonna wind walk us, which means we can zoom and we'll look like wind. We won't look like ourselves. We probably won't feel any of the cold either. We'll be able to go in, blend in with all the shifty snow and just see what has happened. And then I guess there's will be contingencies of depending on what has happened. Right. Yeah, we might have to discuss that as a whole group. Okay, so you're gonna you're hanging out at the keep. Everyone else is around about this point, getting ready to go. Um, so it is only half nine, and we normally play for longer. But I think this is quite a good place to kind of take a break. Because I don't want to I don't want to burn two of Raffin's big spells in case. Well, he's not here in case he comes back next week and actually there's some kind of issue or something. Um, so I think we'll pause here for this week and pick up next week, hopefully with the full gang, uh, for your little jaunt into the northern expanse, uh, I suppose, uh, unless anyone has anything they want to do first. No. no? All right. Mm -hmm. Cool. Uh, well, yeah, if you watch the stream, thanks for watching, and see you next Wednesday.